today's video, we're going to focus on the use of arrow notation. We use arrow notation to describe what a graph is doing. And typically we use arrow notation to, to describe what a graph does or a graph's behavior. As x approaches positive infinity, negative infinity, or some constant. So we'll begin with this graph. And we're going to discuss how we can use arrow notation to describe what the graph is doing in these situations, where x approaches infinity, where x approaches negative infinity, where x approaches 3 from the left, this little subscript of a negative means from the negative side of the x-axis or the left side, and as x approaches 3 from the right. So let's take a look. So first let's think about the statement. As x approaches infinity. So we want to think, what does that mean? If I'm thinking about the x-axis, what would it look like as x approaches infinity? Which direction would we be going? Well, here we start with positive numbers and we're going to infinitely bigger numbers. So we'd be going to the right hand side or infinitely to the right of this graph. As x approaches infinity, we're going to the extreme right of this graph. What is f of x or what is our y value doing? As you look at the graph itself on the extreme right-hand side, or we're kind of looking at this part of it, what is the y value doing? So you see that the graph is flattening out at this level of 1, 2, 3, 4. y equals 4. So as x approaches positive infinity, your graph is getting closer and closer and closer to 4. So we say f of x is approaching 4. Now let's think about this statement. As x approaches negative infinity. Okay, so x is approaching negative infinity. Think about your x-axis. If I were looking at numbers as they were getting closer and closer to negative infinity, that would be talking about the left-hand side or the extreme left-hand side of this graph. Okay, so we want to think about what is the graph doing on the extreme left hand side of uh, this graph. And we see that the graph of this function is approaching the same value. It's flattening out at y equals 4. So for both x approaches infinity and x approaches negative infinity, our f of x is approaching 4 on both of these. Now this statement says as x approaches 3 from the left, what is f of x approaching? Okay, so I want to come over to x equals 3. Here is x equals 3. Okay, and I want to think about as I am approaching 3 from the left-hand side. So I'm going this way towards 3. Notice that to get to 3, I can come from the right or from the left. That's not true as I'm going to infinity. I can only go that way to get into infinity. And I can only go that way to the left to go to negative infinity. But to get to the value 3, I could come from the left or the right. That's the important part of this little superscript. That negative up here is telling us I'm coming from the left. So that would be this part of the graph. Okay, so I'm coming up towards 3 from the left. What is the graph doing there? Well, it looks like it's going infinitely up or towards infinity. Now let's come to the other side. As x approaches 3 from the right, so here's x equals 3, I want to move to the right of it, find my graph, and go towards the value of 3. Alright, so what is going on there? Well, it looks like we're going up or towards infinity. So now let's look at this graph. This graph looks a little bit different, but you can see that there are some similarities in what we are looking for. Let's look at our first statement. As x approaches infinity. 
So again, this is telling us we're looking at the extreme right-hand side of our graph. So if I'm looking at the extreme right-hand side of my graph, looks like the graph is flattening out around at, or y equals 1, 2, 3. y equals negative 3. So f of x is approaching negative 3. As x approaches negative infinity, this is the left-hand side or the extreme left-hand side of our graph. So over here. What is my y value doing? You can see that this graph is coming up and approaching and flattening out at that y value of negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So both of our x's approaching positive and negative infinity are going to, our f of x's for each of these are going to approach negative 3. Now let's look at as x approaches negative 3 from the left. So, so it's helpful for us to kind of see where negative 3 is. Oh, this should be negative 2, sorry. Change that on your notes. Okay, so here's x equals negative 2. If we are approaching negative 2 from the left, okay, that would mean that I'm coming, I come to the left of this vertical line, and I am tracing my graph towards that negative 2. What is the graph doing? It's going infinitely down or towards negative infinity. Now let's think about it as, we, as x approaches negative 2 from the right. So I go to the right of negative 2, find the graph, trace it towards negative 2. What do, is my graph doing? My y value is going infinitely up or towards positive infinity. So the last graph that we're going to discuss this concept with is found right here. And we're going to start with our x is approaching positive and negative infinity, which by this time you should know as x is approaching positive infinity, we're talking totally to the right of the graph. So totally to the right, what is that graph doing? What is f of x doing? Well, f of x looks like it's approaching 1, 2, 3, or y equals 3, put a 3 in there, and we are good to go. As x approaches negative infinity, that's the extreme left-hand side of the graph. So we're tracing towards the extreme left, and you see that that graph is flattening out at that same level, 1, 2, 3, of y equals 3. Now these two, we're looking at x, x approaching negative 2 from the left and the right, and then x approaching positive 2 from the left and from the right. So let's go ahead and just sketch those vertical lines at negative 2 and positive 2. Okay. And then let's look at what's going on there. Let's start with negative 2. As x approaches negative 2 from the left. So come over to x approaches negative 2, move to the left of that vertical line and find the graph. I've got to go clear up here to find that graph. Now I'm going to trace that graph towards negative 2. What is the graph doing? It's going infinitely up, so we're going towards positive infinity. But if we move to negative 2 from the right, find my graph, and I trace it towards negative 2, that graph is heading down infinitely, or towards negative infinity. As x approaches positive 2 from the left, so come over to x approaches positive 2, move to the left, find the graph, I've got to go clear up here to find the graph, trace it towards positive 2, and we're going up again, so up towards positive infinity. And as x approaches 2 from the right, that means to the right of this graph, find my graph, I'm sorry, to the right of this scratch. So to the right of this vertical line, find my graph and trace it toward positive 2. That would be negative infinity. Okay, I hope that helps you out with arrow notation and graphs. We use this a lot to um, discuss end behaviors. 
and also asymptotic behavior. So um, we'll see you next time.